The competition that later became known as Miss America first started as a beauty contest held on September 7th and 8th, 1921. The two-day pageant was an effort to keep visitors in Atlantic City, New Jersey past Labor Day weekend. Eight finalists representing cities from the northeastern United States competed in the contest. They were judged on their appearance, personality, and interaction with the judges and crowds. Miss Washington, D.C. Margaret Gorman was awarded the grand prize, and this was a Golden Mermaid trophy, as well as the title of Miss America. Miss America also introduced its famous scholarship program in the 1940s. The pageant's popularity continued to grow after its first television broadcast in the mid-1950s. Miss America quickly became the ideal representation of a young woman in the States. It was in the 1960s that the pageant reached its peak. After that, the feminist and civil rights movements were changing people's opinions of Miss America. Everyone thought that the Miss America pageant in September of 1968 would be like any other. Little did they know that havoc would break loose by a group of outraged women held by the New York Radical Women's Organization. The protest broke loose right on the Atlantic City boardwalk in New Jersey. It was a fairly organized protest that encompassed 400 protesters and a good 600 young men who were in a sense protesting back. In the center of all the commotion was a freedom trash can which contained bras, curlers, pots and pans, and degrading magazines that were all tossed in the bin as an act of freedom. There was a common assumption that they burned the items in the trash can, hence the media given name bra burners. This assumption was wrong, because they could not get a fire permit on the boardwalk. Although the name bra burners did stick for women's rights activists. Deborah Barnes, Miss America of 1968, was delivering her farewell address at the pageant when a sheet was unveiled from the balcony that said women's liberation and it interrupted her speech. I really did take offense at the fact that these protesters were saying, and at least in my estimation, that the Miss America pageant wasn't respected and it wasn't valued and that we as contestants were devaluing ourselves for participating and it was almost like verging on prostitution that we were selling ourselves as a commodity. During the early years, the bathing suit event was one of the most popular aspects of the competition. However, conservative and religious groups protested and branded this bearing of limbs as immoral. In response, the organizers attempted to depict the contestants as innocent and wholesome. In an attempt to raise the event's public profile, the talent segment was added to the competition that same year. During the next decade, Miss America came to be seen as a national symbol. You can have wars and atom bombs, but so it seems there must always be a Miss America. With its support of traditional and patriotic values, her image became a morale booster for soldiers participating in the Second World War. The protest at the Miss America pageant was the first big act in a push for women's rights during the civil rights movement. 